Right, guys, I guess I should quickly talk about the media screaming and shouting about restrictions ending on July 19th. Yep, we're back here again, a few weeks out from the so-called Freedom Day 2.0. You know, after the first one was cancelled using dodgy data that once again hasn't become reality. This is shocking to few of you, I expect, and my saying I will believe it when I see it is likely no surprise either. Let's be honest, this government, who I consider to be the ultimate septic spots on the arse of humanity, has lied for its back teeth at every opportunity, literally using bullshit models not worth a wet wank on a Sunday morning to do it. The amount of contradictions and hypocrisy has been beyond the joke just in the last three weeks, never mind the entire 465 days of 14 days to flatten the curve these clowns have spent taking us for a ride like some fairground ponies. Ever since their little G7 loving, it's only continued more and more. Football VIPs given exemptions and now big business toss pots given quarantine exemptions too. Us peasants get charged £1,750 a week to be forced into a quarantine hotel prison camp, while rich tosspots swan about doing as they please. But when talking about July 19th, we must remember it was back to normal by July 2020, then it was September 2020, Christmas 2020, Easter 2021, and now July 2021. So in my mind it's all bullshit until it actually happens and even then it's not over. This is why the moment they do remove these restrictions, if they do, and that is a big if like I said, then people need to pressure the absolute wet wipe toss pots in Parliament to make sure this government cannot reintroduce lockdown, mask wearing or anything like that. The Coronavirus Act, as you know, needs to be shit canned instantly along with any other powers taken during this shit show. Because if not, we will be back in the shit by the end of the year, which to be honest I'm expecting anyway. Now on top of that, there is also talk that they will be bringing in domestic vaccine passports in the winter, so we're going to need to resist that bullshit going forward all the same. The media said it was dead the other day, but I didn't buy it, and it seems I could well have been right. Government shit weasels have been talking about using them in the winter if needed, which at this point means they plan to use them. The past year has shown us that many times over. But in short, I'm taking the claims that restrictions end, mandatory face nappies go and everything reopens with a pinch of salt comparable to the fucking Dead Sea. Trust in these septic spots on the arse of humanity is not something I will be doing, let me tell you that.